for the other new world of the bishop ready let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report appreciate y'all tuning in make sure you check out blackfoxnews.com slash shop actually get yourself some paraphernalia uh to actually support the movement just like this iceberg hoodie right here or whatever but we got it in different color shapes and sizes too match anything in your wardrobe you know what i mean go ahead get that check out and um you can find the link in the instagram the uh, black fox news page but you can also just type in the url or find the links in one of our youtube videos support us you can continue to support y'all giving y'all this real now uh our president joe biden has actually taken his first overseas trip since being sworn into office and go and headed to the united kingdom um he after meeting with british prime minister boris johnson he's actually gonna head to a uh, g7 uh leader summit and then he's going to meet with to go into a nato meeting in brussels um that G7 uh, meeting is in, is in Cornwall. And then he's going to uh, meet with uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin in Geneva. Now, news has it that he's also set to buy 500 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine. And then he's going to uh, donate it, I guess on behalf of the US, to 92 low income countries. So under that plan, the first 200 million doses will go out by the end of this year and then the remainder in June 2022. So, I mean, human rights groups, is this what y'all wanted? Green World graduation. For the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, the World Trade Organization has actually agreed to uh, meet next week on whether they are going to hold temporary waivers for the intellectual property rights of coronavirus vaccines. Now, this is a big deal. Keep in mind, South Africa and India were the first nations to actually bring the patent waiver to the discussion table and it re received a lot of resistance obviously you know you got your pharmaceutical companies your wealthy nations that didn't want to and are not in favor of the patent waiver but a lot of people have come on board so where now it's going to be a discussion since uh india and south africa brought it up in october 2020 there's been 2.6 million deaths due to COVID-19 globally, uh, 140 million new infections. So it's very much a sense of urgency. A lot of people are on board. A lot of people are not. You, uh, Biden um, is now on board, but he changed his mind back in May from a lot of pressure from human rights groups and Democrats. The European Union, including the UK and Switzerland, are still not in favor of the patent waiver. For, this, for these vaccines. We'll see how this turns out though. Green Wall and graduation. Before the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So the state of India, the country rather, have actually reported their highest daily death toll yet due to COVID-19. And it's the highest of any nation since the pandemic started. And that number is 6,100. Now, this came because one Indian state had reported a bunch of previously underreported death counts. So, or uh, unreported deaths related to COVID-19. So it kind of adds to the evidence that they are, as a nation, India, undercounting a lot of who's getting sick by COVID and who's dying from it. Uh, over in Haiti, this is a nation with a 0% vaccination rate. Not one vaccine has been administered. Uh, they're seeing cases surge and their hospitals are being overwhelmed. But uh, the lack of testing doesn't allow for them to truly know what is uh, um, how many people are having it. While on the con in contrast in France, you got uh, over in Paris, the people there celebrating coronavirus restrictions being eased up, allow for indoor um, restaurants to open and uh, rolling back curfews. So they are celebrating and they have a one in five person uh, vaccination rate, meaning 20% uh, of the people who are getting vaccinated over there. Green War and graduation. This report out of the world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, over in Afghanistan, in the northern Bagland province, you on Tuesday, you had gunmen masked up, basically going into this mind clearing non profit and letting off, ended up killing at least 10 people. And if you hear the account from one of the survivors uh, who was actually shot in the head and had escaped said it was about 13 or 14 people who were taken to the hospital for injury. So a lot of people got shot up. Uh, this is a scenario where the government of Afghanistan initially blamed the Taliban on the attacks until the Islamic State, Islamic State, pardon me, actually took responsibility for the attack. Now, 
these the the people that ran the mind clearing nonprofit is uh halo trust this uh organization based in britain and they actually said that they feel the government were targeting the shia hazara people so we'll see how what what comes of this green war on graduation before the other new world though the picture grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black files news report so in afghanistan you have the norwegian refugee council that's actually saying that three million afghans are uh in danger for this severe drought that's going on where you talking about a population that's already had to deal with a lot of food insecurity and conflict and the, you know the COVID-19 pandemic with a weak infrastructure so it's doubling down on some insecurities that the citizens already have uh also you have over here the New York Times reporting that the Pentagon is considering on whether the United States military will interfere if there's any warplanes or drones that attack Kabul, Afghanistan, Kabul being the capital, um, after, you know, from the Taliban, after the U.S. completes its withdrawal, which sounds a lot like motherfuckers have all intentions on staying the fuck out there. I mean, all of these peace meetings with the Taliban, you mean to tell me that now we're talking about a withdrawal by 9-11, but now we're also talking about, well, helping in case the Taliban attacks again. That sound like an inside job. I don't know, y'all. Green War on graduation. What other new world do the bishop ready letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report? Now, I've been telling y'all how it's been popping off over in Colombia. There's been a lot of protests that was initially catapulted by the tax reform that a president of the right wing, Ivan Duque, actually had put out there but has since taken back, but now the protests have continued. This evolved into protests for for like social reform and an end to violence and inequality. Well, these protests have entered their sixth week. You have Human Rights Watch that's calling on Colombia, the government, to actually protect the human rights of its citizens and to engage in some serious police reform. They've counted that 34 people have been killed since these protests started, 20 of them at the hands of the police. And a lot of people feel like it's actually a lot higher than that. So there was a demonstration in Bogota. Yesterday you had uh, Carlos Rivas, a union leader that was basically speaking out saying that, you know, they don't want to live in a, in a state of terror. You know what I mean? This government, this, this is an indolent state. Uh, this is a state that does not talk to its people. They talk through uh, violence and weapons. And, you know, they just had enough, you know what I mean? And they're like, you, you, he's like, you can't assassinate the, the youth who are our future. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. Green War and graduation. Report out of the new world, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report, man. Got hot in here, had to take off the hoodie, but go ahead, get you on blackfilesnews.com slash shop. The link is actually in the Instagram Black Files News page, or you can feel, find it in any of the captions and dis video descriptions of any of our YouTube channels. Go ahead, support us as we continue to support y'all. Now, on to this real, uh, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken actually was speaking on Iran and said that even if they come to an agreement in terms of the Iran nuclear deal, uh, which is currently known as the JCPOA. So he's like, even if they come into uh, terms with the, uh, an agreement with the JCPOA, there's still hundreds of sanctions that will remain on Iran, including ones that was put in by the Trump administration. Uh, and unless they're inconsistent with the JCPOA, they'll remain un, 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 until Iran's behavior changes, is basically what he said. So uh, Iran said that they're not even going to come to the uh, agreement if until un, or even come to the discussion table unless all sanctions are lifted. And they're set to have meetings with world powers next week. We'll see if that changes. And they have elections next Friday. So you have a possible complicated foreign policy relationship between them and the U.S. if their current president, Hassan Rouhani, leaves office. And it's a lot of like conservatives and hardliners that are actually said to be trying to fill his shoes. We'll see how that turns out. Green War on graduation. This report out of the world, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, of course, the Trump administration and his cronies are going to defend him, but Joe Biden's administration is defending Trump? It seems odd, but uh, the Attorney General Merrick Garland says he's just basically sticking to the script. He's not trying to have a separate rule for uh, Democrats and a separate one for Republicans or separate one for friend and separate one for foe, as he told the uh, a Senate committee on Wednesday in defense of Trump's defamation suit that came to him when uh, E. Jean Carroll, uh, this white woman, actually accused him of assaulting her sexually in the 1990s. 
Trump, while president, basically said that he didn't do it because she's not my type. You know, quote, quote, unquote, she's not my type. And right afterwards, that's when she uh, filed the defamation suit against him. But uh, the Justice Department is saying that he cannot be held personally liable for those comments because he made them while he was the president. Green World graduation. Report of the New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So it looks like a victory because you have uh, Canada... Canadian energy company, TC Energy, actually canceling the Keystone XL pipeline, the 1,200 mile long pipeline that was set to bring in 800,000 barrels of oil per day from the Canadian tar sands over into the United States. So this is after years of protests uh, led by indigenous people. And after this past January, the Biden administration revoked a key permit that they would have needed to actually uh, continue with the pipeline. So at the same time, you have um, indigenous water and land defender Jocelyn Charge that actually was released on the same day uh, after she had pleaded no contest to a trespassing charge that she acquired from an act of civil disobedience against the Keystone XL pipeline. On the other hand, you got Oscar High Elk who actually remains in prison facing 22 years for what people are saying the trumped up charges. Now, over in the Enbridge Line 3 pipeline in Minnesota, you actually have 179 people being arrested for an act of civil disobedience on Monday. Uh, 68 people were cited and charged with uh, public nuisance and unlawful assembly. Those that were arrested were charged with trespassing. Green War on graduation. Report of the New World Order. Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. In Eastern Arizona, they're dealing with two big ass wildfires. So far, I've taken up 177,000 acres of land. And this is coming as client scientists have actually said that the Western United States is suffering the worst drought, the most severe drought that it has suffered in 1,200 years due to natural dry cycles as well as human-induced climate change. So uh, Lake Mead, for example, which runs along the Colorado River, is only 36% full. So, and it's one of the largest freshwater reserves in the United States, or the largest, actually. So, it's very telling. Uh, over in California, in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, you know what I mean? Shout out to the Bay. Uh, almost 2 million people over there have actually been put under emergency water shortage. Um, so, this is, uh, and this was done on Wednesday. As you know, Cali as a whole is dealing with a drought as well. So, like I said, if y'all care about the West, West Coast and all of that, and their water shortages, you know, y'all might want to ease up on the almond milk because that takes a lot of water. It's completely environmentally inefficient. Y'all stay woke. Day at a time, you know what I mean? Green War graduation. Reporter of the New World, though, the Bishop Brady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, a uh, Louisiana State Police Unit, uh, State Police Troop F, this is a, a notorious police unit in northeastern Louisiana. Um, they have a bad rep. This, this is the unit that actually murdered 49-year-old Ronald Green by uh, beating him down, stunning him, and, and then dragging him in 2019. And it's all on footage or whatever. So this, um, they're actually, according to the Associated Press, under an internal investigation for whether they systematically target black motorists for abuse. The report says that they also, the investigators are looking into the arrest that they had with three other black men, one who was punched, um, he punched, stunned, and then, you know, hoisted up by his hair. You know what I'm saying? Another one who was actually uh, beaten while he was handcuffed. And then another one who actually had got slammed 18 times with a flashlight. You know, whatever the fuck that means. That sounds violent. Thing. At the end of the day, they're as... Um, it, it looks like uh, they have a reputation for uh, mislabeling body cameras, turning them off, and just hiding in investigations and evidence altogether. Uh, and some of the troopers already face felony charges, so we'll see how this turns out. Green War and graduation. Report of the New World, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, shout out to Public Citizen, uh, a news site that actually puts out some very interesting reports that could show some trends in the United States and actually be set to influence you know policy you know what i mean and form politicians and this one is definitely going to do that because their report shows that 55 of the major u.s corporations that paid no federal taxes last year you know you got to be a big dog to pay no fed taxes right but 55 of those corporations actually other stock corporations contri uh, contributed 450 million dollars in uh towards political lobbying and campaign and six the 2016 election cycle so since trump been president and 
that includes uh getting uh or does not include getting a three and a half billion dollar tax rebate collectively so of the top 25 congressional candidates that receive funds from these corp companies 20 of them were republicans they all voted for the tax cuts and jobs act of 2017 which lowered the corporate tax rate top donors of fedex charter communications american electric power and duke energy green war on graduation report out the new world though the bishop lady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report man welcome greetings what up what up to all our new tiktok followers you know what i'm saying appreciate y'all tuning in you know the uh, government was trying to take us away from each other at one point uh definitely during the trump administration but the biden administration has just revoked three trump executive orders that actually would have sought to ban social media apps tiktok and wechat instead they put in a new order that will uh, review possible security risks with apps uh, that are connected to foreign governments particularly china so this is coming as the senate just passed a 250 billion dollar bill to uh, grant to actually help the u.s compete technologically militarily and industrially with new advances out of china now that's a lot of fucking money for uh, things that motherfuckers already supposed to be doing anyway so it just seems like another way to funnel billions on billions of dollars into the military industrial complex so i don't know you tell me green war and graduation what other new world do the bishop grade to let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black files news report so united um university of north carolina chapel hill that's the school michael jordan went to there's a lot of pressure building up on them to grant tenure to pulitzer prize winning journalist nicole hannah jones who's most famous for making the 1619 project with the new york times that came out last year that essentially is in an interactive program and it re-examines the legacy of uh, slavery in the United States. Now, uh, right wingers all across the country like got at her about it. They was, you know, coming at it after the Trump administration had essentially threatened to defund, uh, get, take away funding from public schools that actually would share that curriculum. So, back to uh, UNC, you had uh, uh, last Friday a major funding partner for UNC Chapel Hill actually siding with Hannah Jones. You actually had um, a Lisa, Lisa Jones, a chemistry professor from the University of Maryland, decline a job offer from UNC over their treatment of Hannah Jones. So on the flip side, you got uh, Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, actually coming up with the 1836 project that is basically supposed to uh, 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 share history about when Texas seceded from Mexico so that it can uh, maintain its uh, status as uh, holding slavery and it comes like you know he says like you know it teaches patriotic education and will actually show people